Hey you guys and welcome back to the wonderful world where the UNS people reside. This is for you to envy and today we'll be going through a bunch of things. I've got a bunch of things in store for you guys today. And first and foremost is that I need to get rid of this. And you guys must be thinking, what the hell is he doing again? And I know, I know, I've been messing things up. But I really need another thing in here. I really need a sidekick. You know, because being an evil laboratory guy, uh, labyrinth, is is boring if you're lonely. And I really need my evil sidekick. And maybe my evil sidekick is going to be not as evil as we all think. But I needed I needed something here. And I was, I was thinking of maybe uh, getting a zombie down here and turning that into a uh, person, a uh, testificate, uh, what do they call it again? The ones with the big noses, you know what I mean, the villagers. And yeah, it was really tough, it was really hard. I tried really long, but it, I just couldn't succeed. And then I thought, I had a plan of making a village down here. So I wanted to make this thing uh, into a laboratory with on one side a village. Maybe this side, maybe that side, I don't know yet. But I was going to make a village, and a village needs his protector. So I thought, oops, sorry. Um, I thought my sidekick, my evil sidekick, could be the village protector as well. And thus we're going to make an iron golem to defend those who need to be defended. And uh, <laughs> hopefully not, actually, but... I'm going to make an iron golem as my sidekick. I will name it Igor or Igor. I don't know how you guys pronounce it, but I pronounce it Igor. Don't know why. I always have. And um, that is going to be my sidekick. If you guys have any ideas of, of different sidekicks, I, I, I eventually want more sidekicks than just one. I mean, who? Look at, look at this face. Look at me. I need more than one sidekick. I mean, this this face is evil, evil to its finest, and we need more than one sidekick. So I eventually I will need a second one. But for now, I will just make an iron golem that hopefully stays in here, because this is going to be the desk, and he's going to be the one who says hi when you come in. And I don't think he can escape because I think he's higher than two blocks. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll test that out. So that's the first thing I wanted to do. Second thing is actually I wanted to talk to you guys about the cactus farm. Because this has been um, the major part of this laboratory. And it was broken because of one of the updates. And that really sucked. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what changed, what I had to do to change this around. And um, basically, what broke is, do I have that on me? No. Oh, I need to name, uh, I need to name our guy. Right, Igor? forgot about that. Igor? I will call him Igor. Igor sounds better, actually. Igor. Um, name tag. Name him Igor. Igor. <laughs> Let's just call, <laughs> let's do it Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Igor is too hard to pronounce, so let's call him Frankenstein. He, he kind of looks like Frankenstein, so the name suits him. Um, I want to take vines with me as well, and a couple of sand to show you guys what broke. Um, I will need... Oh, that's not the way. Scrap some of you as well. Alright, let's, let's name our psychic. Frankenstein, yes, he cannot escape. That is perfect. All right, Frankenstein. There we go. Frankenstein! Welcome, buddy. Welcome to your humble abode. I hope you cannot escape. I hope you will defend the future villagers, the future refugees of this laboratory to your best and to your death. Well, not to your death, but I, I just hope you don't die, buddy. I want you to be around 
indefinitely. I want you to be here forever. I mean you, Frankenstein. Um, but what changed is that vines no longer supported uh, the sand. Well, the thing I used to do with, with this cactus farm is I used to do this, uh, just make a three stack of, of sand and place a vine there, place sand on top and then get rid of these two. But what happens, the vine no longer stays there. If, if I break this block, the block that is beside it, the vines will break as well. There we go. And thus, um, my cactus one was no longer functional. It was only functional till the second layer, I think. For some odd reason, the first two layers stayed intact, but the ones above that just broke down, crumbled, and um, I got all the resources back into the chests. But it was it was not as efficient anymore, and I had to change things around. So I decided to stay with the same uh, design. But rather than use vines, I used leaves. And that worked out perfectly. Again, I think I changed things up a little bit, but it's, it's, it's cool. It's a little bit less efficient than it was, but it works either way. And I did that on both or all three of the sides with the corresponding sand colors. And it's back to working. Um, you will see an occasional cactus floating up oh you can see oh wow i'm burping a lot today i'm sorry guys you can still see the cobblestone up there um basically what happens is the cactus flows downwards i guess you all saw that in my video then it gets divided if it's if it's by that one uh, the cactus will go up that one if it's from that one the cactus will go from that one and if it's from that one it'll go right in the middle then be divided into both directions and it it can go either way so Occasionally, you will see a cactus floating through uh, and going over. Jeez, my voice is skipping. I'm burping. It's so it's all over the place. Um, but they will come. They will come in here. Look, I've got almost two full chests of cactus, and that is amazing. That is ridiculous. Actually, I don't really need that much cactus. The reason that I made that cactus farm was to make this cyan clay because I needed the cactus to be uh, the green dye and I needed uh, you know the lapis to make cyan dye with the green dye so that is why that's there um, but the main thing I want to focus on this episode I've talked too long already and the main thing I want to focus on is I want to make a little farm um, I've been watching Etho lately and I don't watch very many uh, Minecraft videos anymore um, the only ones I watch is Etho, Vintage Beat, and um, CoStar. I actually watched CoStar before he got into uh, Minecraft. So, I don't know, I, I only watch those three and very rarely. Um, but I watched a video of Ethos today and he made a mini farm, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. And I didn't have an idea of what to do with this this piece because this has just been nothing in the middle and I think we can make the mini farm right here is this a silk touch yes it is nice all right let's break those I will probably do most of this off camera but I think I cleared a little back there I don't know I will um I will work mostly off camera with with the mini farm because I Oh, redstone isn't my best thing, so I will probably need to look a few things up every now and then. And uh, I don't want to bother you guys with that, so I'll do most of it off camera. And I'll be back with you a couple of times in between. So see you guys after I uh, I made this hole where I want to work in. Alright, so I've got the beginnings here. And basically what this is... Um, this is a butt switch. This is a new butt switch. Um, this redstone block powers that piston, and every time every time there is a block update, it'll do that. It'll update, and because of um, the redstone block being three blocks away, when it updates, when it um, gets a signal, 
it doesn't get a signal from the redstone anymore and then it goes back to its normal position so that is that this basically means that every time i do something in here i will tilt this soil and this is where we are going to make the farm the little one square farm um but every time that block is updated this thing will pop out and give a signal and with that signal we can basically give these dispensers a sign uh, that that says hey let's use bone meal on that crop that we just planted so it uses bone meal and there are three dispensers there to make sure everything grows so I will need to stuff those with bone meal um, but every single time when I plant something here this will give a tick uh, the tick will give a signal to the dispensers and will then give a signal to that piston that is under there to pop that thing up and to uh, throw the crops into my body. So I can keep planting this as long as I have bone meal and this will be fully automatic. So that is that is pretty awesome. I think, um, I don't know where Ethel got it from, but it, I think it's a pretty amazing idea. And if you want to see him explain it better than I did, um, I think he did it better. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you want to see him um please check out the description i will if i don't forget i will link uh to his video so you guys can see how he made it and um i will just work off camera a bit on the redstone because i need to make the signal go towards the dispensers and towards that piston um, i will do that off camera for a second be right back Whew. All right, so I'm done with the redstone, and oh my god, I hope this works. I haven't tried this out yet, so we will see how it goes. Um, let's talk a little bit about it. So you guys can see the redstone. Um, the signal is coming from up top, then it's going down along this side. So I'm a bit laggy right now, but that's okay. So this will, you know, if this updates, this will go up, and that'll update that redstone that goes down and gives this dispensers or these, these dispensers a signal to throw our bone meal onto the crops and then with a two tick delay I have redstone down here that says this piston to go up and to shoot the crops into my delicious body and tummy and whatever um, I've added a little bit of water right there that is blocked out by this fence so that this can now stay hydrated and hopefully this works I haven't tried this out yet so let's see what it does if I pop in this potato what will it do it works holy crap this is <laughs> this is one of my first real redstone contraptions that actually worked and I'm not a big I'm not a huge redstone fan but this this is amazing look at that I can just sit here Oh yeah, let's, let's eat. Let's eat till our tummy is full. 7, 10, 11, 13, 16, 17. This is amazing. Look how fast that is. 20 taters in a matter of a few seconds. Wow. That is, uh, that is amazing. I can do loads of cool stuff with a lot of potatoes. So last thing I need to do is kind of decorate this a little bit and make this a farm or make this look good. I will do that off camera as well because otherwise it will take just too long for you guys um, to even <laughs> check this out. So I will do things off camera and I'll check back with you guys for one last time. Be right back. Alright everyone, it is done. The mini farm is there and what do you guys think of it? I like it. I like how it looks. It fits in the theme, uh, blends in and I think I think it's cool. Let's see if it still works. We got 56 potatoes. Still 56. Oh yeah, 59. So it works. It is amazing. Last thing we need to do is make a sign that this is a mini farm and after that we'll call it quits I think I'm done I think I've rambled long enough in this episode and I think it's time for you to go do something else so let's see where do I have my signs do I have a sign I do not have a sign let's put some of this stuff away I don't need the redstone don't need the glowstone 
Um, potatoes. I can build a lot of potatoes right now. That is amazing. Oh, come back. Um, alright. So, what, what did I need? Oh, I needed wood. Yeah, I, I tend to get, I tend to forget a few things while I, while I play this game and talk. So, please excuse me. Let's make a sign. That's not how you make a sign, dude. There it is. Sign. Let's make this official. Let's make this a part of our laboratory, our secret underground laboratory, which is not evil at all. So here we go. Stripes. Mini. Let's see what in capitals. Mini farm. By Etho. There we go. Mini farm is done. It is happening. It is here. It has become reality. And with that, I will leave you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, it took me a while to get this out, but I, I hope you guys forgive me about that. And um, uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode. Remember to leave a like, a comment, or whatever favorite this video. If you find this enjoyable, wait a minute. I put light up there, so now we can get rid of these, can't we? Yes, we can. Those might be a bit too much light. Nine. No, no, it's still good. Still good. Still good. I will keep that there. But we've got some more lighting in here, and it is amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.